All right, and we are less than a month away from the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure here in South Florida. That's right, and at every race, there are seven local breast cancer survivors that will be honored, the Warriors in Pink. So we are joined in studio by Randy Van Vliet and volunteer Debbie Hollister. Uh, thank you guys both for being here. Uh, tell us a little bit about these Warriors in Pink. Well, the Warriors are people that are breast cancer survivors, and they are people in the community that volunteer with different organizations and they're kind of looked at as high um, powerful people that want to find a cure. How do you pick them? Well that's a little tricky. <laughs> yeah. We have to go out and we have to find different organizations, different friends, different relatives that know of people that are breast cancer survivors and then we get all of these people's names and, and a little bit of story about each one of them and then as a as a group of people from the organization, we have to select a group and then we narrow it down to the <laughs> seven and it's very, very difficult. I had the honor, honor of doing that this year and we have some dynamic people. And this year you actually have an eighth survivor, so tell us about that. Well, every year there's, there's always eight and Susan G. Komen's sister, Nancy Brinker, is always the eighth warrior. So we have seven from the community, and then Nancy is always the eighth. And we always love having her there. She always comes and participates in the, in the race. And tell us a little bit about the race. I know that we are uh, less than a month away. It's always such a huge turnout downtown. It is, and it's always just, as a survivor, it is just a moving and experience that we, you know, race, we take the walk, and then we come up, we get on stage, and we're recognized as survivors. And it's a very emotional giving day. And uh, Randy, for people who want to come out there, want to get involved, what can they do? Oh, they can go on the um, South Florida Coleman uh, organization and uh, sign up for the race. And it's a beautiful time to be with family and friends, and it's for a great cause. So I hope to see everybody out there. Um, we'll be there. And let's give them the date and time, everything they need to know real quick. It's January 27th, and it's on Saturday. And... Um, the no. race the race starts, starts at, at nine. nine. The okay. race starts, starts at, at nine. nine. What yeah. does it mean to both of you guys being involved in this, obviously seeing the turnout every single year? It's wonderful. You know, they do a lot of research. They help people in the community do that do not have the finances to get the help they need. So it's a wonderful, um, you know, benefit for people to do. And, and Ford has been doing this for over 10 years here mm -hmm. locally. And it, it's just, it's a very moving experience. Mm -hmm. And it's just a... a a great day for us as survivors to look out into the, the sea of people yeah. and just have them be cheering us on. It's it's just a very emotional, as you can tell, I'm getting emotional yeah. talking yeah. about it. Well, thank you guys uh, both for coming in today. Uh, I was saying I'm the odd man out because everybody seems to be We've got uh, our pink Yeah, dressed today. in pink today. I know, Felicia, you have your pink on uh, as well. So I am the odd man out. Should have worn my pink. Yeah, it's such a great cause. I got the pink memo. Sorry, Chris, we didn't let you know. But 